Hey you guys and welcome back to my channel. Today we are doing something a little different here. I decided to do my sister's hair instead. You know, I've been on my little hair braiding journey. So I've learned a couple techniques that I want to show you guys. Today we are doing passion twists. What I'm doing here is I am soaking my rubber bands because I do not want to pull my sister hair out, okay? So I want to make it known that when you do passion twists, you do not have to have your hair like bone straight because you want this hair to like blend in with your original natural hair. So y'all look, look at all this hair. That's what happened when you let Disney do your hair, period. Okay. So right here, you guys, I'm just parting the back here in like a little medium size section and I got the lotted body y'all know this the OG this is what I used to use all the time but I'm just gonna put some of this lotted body on that part and then we're gonna repart it and y'all just see how crispy and straight and nice and neat that this part looks after I do that and y'all don't come for me okay I know I look ratchet but I'm in the comfort of my own home this is my sister and it's totally fine, okay? So don't talk to me, period. And once I have did that, I'm just gonna park my hair in a box and then I am going to throw some more lot of body product on this space and then I am actually going to comb that through. So once I have combed through my product, as you can see right here, I'm taking my T-pin comb, the end of it, and I am smoothing it out even more like this. This is gonna ensure that, you know, it's no lumps or bumps, it's just straight, okay? Straight and smooth as possible. And yep, you guessed it, after that, we are just gonna take our rubber band, we are gonna put that thing up just like this and tighten it, okay? Make sure it's tight. So my first two rows are done here. I did the window parting and right here, I'm just showing y'all, you know, how good that looks. Mmm, looks so good. <laughs> and I forgot to mention, it would be good if you guys just each time you part, just put the lot of body product on there because it's going to make everything just look so neat. All right, you guys, so once the boxes are already done, I am now going to insert my crochet needle from the bottom of the box, and I am going to latch my crochet hair onto this. And I actually do two pieces, but I'm going to do them one at a time. Like, I'm going to pull only one piece of crochet hair through at a time. And you also want to make sure your crochet hair is fluffy during this stage because you know we want medium size um passion twists and not little passion twists so once i have pulled through two of my crochet hair i am going to take one of the crochet pieces on my left side and I am going to just 
wrap that around my roots four to five times. You do want to make sure that the piece of hair that you are wrapping around the roots, that it ends up on the top on the right side of the spray, like this um, twist, because this is going to ensure that we are twisting it the right way and not have it unraveling at the root. So once you have did that, you are going to just split your hair in half, just like this, getting it ready for the twist. All right here, you guys, I have this hair put in, and I am just going to put it on her hair so that it won't frizz up, and I am twisting one leg outward, and I'm twisting the other leg inward, and I'm just going to twist as I go down. And throughout this video, you're just going to see me repeating the same steps. And if I find something different, then I will make sure that I chime in. But for the most part, you guys, just enjoy this video. Information on this hair will be in the description box below so make sure you guys check that out So boom, at the ends, you guys want to add a little product and you just want to twirl your finger around just like this so it can curl better. So right here you see my sister twitching up. Everybody in my family just tell me I'm heavy handed when I do that hair. I don't think I'm heavy handed. I really don't. So you guys actually found out my secret. Like the studio is actually my storage room. I just keep all my clothes and stuff in a box. That way when it's time to move baby, I can just pick up and go. Okay? <laughs> don't judge me. So in my bohemian locks 
video i told you guys i was gonna tell y'all the tea on how i got my hair so thick this jamaican black castor oil by d phil i have been using this every day and when i tell y'all i didn't think it was doing something at first but baby it made my hair so thick okay y'all this is probably like well it said on the bottle it's 249 a bottle so definitely go and get it you know trust the process And that is the finishes touches you guys I'm just oiling her scalp then I am going to put some mousse on her ends and then I am going to spray her hair and that will be it um I do want to put emphasis on whenever I do braids or twist or anything like that I do not like to put mousse on the roots because I feel like if you have natural hair your hair is definitely going to like shrink up and curl up so I don't want that so I just leave the top just how it is and as said in my bohemian locks thing I like to line up my parts like this within my middle part to make it more neater Alright you guys, so that's the end of this video. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And I'm sorry my energy is a little low because I got a cold and I don't know where it came from. But um, thank y'all so much. And let me know, do you guys like videos like this where I do some, you know, do hair on other people? Let me know in the comments below. I may do more. <laughs>